future is a portal inward. It is computational and ancient. We are uncovering this ancient idea of what it means to be a human being on this planet. All of the things that we know about ourselves, all of the discoveries, that is an emergent system that comes from the cosmos. We're discovering this ancient mirror. This is a continuum. Think of the cosmos as the original algorithm, and we are just a small piece of that algorithm. So as the cosmos evolves, as we evolve, new algorithms, new codes will emerge within this continuum. We are an extension, a mirror of the cosmos and the computational nature of the cosmos. We are just emerging out of a system that is billions and billions and billions of years old. We are the new ones. And so all of these computers and robots and all these things that we're manifesting, it is all the same code. We are under the illusion that the future is somewhere out in front of us, when in fact, the future is already here. It exists in our neural network. It exists in our visualizations. Nikola Tesla says in his autobiography that he used to visualize all of his inventions inside of his head. He would see them. He would turn them on. He would calibrate them in his mind before he would ever build them. He understood that the future was internal, that the future was inside of us and that we mirror that internal world and that is what the future becomes. We're actually moving deeper into the body, we're moving deeper into the mind. We're going deeper into the self. Every mathematical formula that we need to create a rocket, a robot, driverless car, all of those things already exist. They're here in the room with us. They are a part of our evolutionary history. It rides along inside of our DNA. The deeper you look into yourself, the more you're going to find the future. And that's why I say the future is a portal inward. It is a destination to the self.